So TikTok's parent company is taking direct shots at Google with a new image model they say beats Nano Banana. Meta is trying to reinvent online dating with an AI matchmaker inside Facebook. Alibaba just rolled out new vision language models that can reason over images, video, and even code. MIT found a way to make AI plan with almost perfect accuracy, and OpenAI, Oracle, and SoftBank are building data centers so huge they're pouring hundreds of billions into them, already ahead of schedule. So let's talk about it. Starting with ByteDance, the company behind TikTok. They've just dropped SeaDream 4.0, their newest AI-powered image generation model, and they're openly saying it outperforms Google DeepMind's Gemini 2.5 Flash Image, also known online as Nano Banana. That's a bold claim considering how viral Nano Banana went when Gemini launched it in late August. It was everywhere, dominating social media trends with its meme-style edits and hyper-accurate outputs. And while many thought the first big competitor would come from OpenAI or Meta, it's actually ByteDance stepping in first. SeaDream 4.0 combines the text-to-image creation of SeaDream 3.0 with the editing capabilities of Seed Edit 3.0, all wrapped up in a new architecture that ByteDance says makes it more than 10 times faster in raw image inference compared to previous versions. They've tested it internally on their own benchmarking platform called Magic Bench. And according to those results, Seed Dream 4.0 scored higher than Gemini 2.5 flash image in key areas like prompt accuracy, alignment, and overall visual quality. Independent firm Artificial Analysis even called it a significant evolution from ByteDance's earlier tools. But here's the thing, ByteDance hasn't published a technical report yet, so all of this is still based on internal numbers. What they have done is kept the pricing exactly the same, $30 per 1,000 generations, which is interesting because Google offers Gemini's Nano Banana for free to regular users, with payments only kicking in when you buy extra tokens. So ByteDance is clearly positioning SeedDream as a professional-grade service, not just a free viral playground. Now, what makes SeaDream 4.0 stand out are some new capabilities. Users can generate images in both 2K and 4K resolution, and you can even feed the model up to six reference images to shape the output. On top of that, it lets you choose any aspect ratio you want, which isn't something all the competitors are offering yet. Early feedback has been pretty positive, especially about the editing function. It can do really accurate, quick changes to existing images just by using text prompts, People have been showing off results on X, and a lot of them look impressive. The tool is already live in China through ByteDance's Jimeng and Dubao AI apps, and corporate clients can access it through Volcano Engine, their cloud platform. For users outside China, ByteDance partnered with FreePick, so if you go on their site or mobile app, you can actually try out SeaDream 4.0 right now. Overall, it's a clear sign that China isn't just competing in AI models for text, but is now going hard after image generation too. Switching gears a bit, Meta also had a big launch this week, though in a very different space, dating. They've updated Facebook dating with two AI-powered features, a dating assistant and a tool called Meet Cute. Their goal is to move people past the endless swipe and ghost cycle that apps like Tinder and Bumble are built around and instead try to push for deeper, more authentic connections the AI dating assistant is basically a chat companion built directly into Facebook dating. It helps refine your profile, suggest potential matches, gives personalized recommendations, and even throws in date suggestions. What's new here is how much freedom you have in prompts. Instead of just filtering for things like age, location, or education, you can type something like, find me a Brooklyn girl in finance. And the assistant will actually adjust your search accordingly. It's like having a personal matchmaker that understands niche requests instead of just broad filters. Then there's Meet Cute, which is meant to surprise people. Once a week, the system uses Meta's matching algorithm to send you one unexpected match. You can either chat with them or just skip, but the idea is to break you out of your usual selection loop. Meta says this is designed for people who are tired of swiping and want something fresh, but still tailored. For now, Meet Cute is rolling out only weekly, but they hinted they might increase the frequency if it works well. This update is starting in the United States and Canada, specifically targeting the 18 to 29 age group, where Meta says hundreds of thousands are already setting up profiles. They also reported a 10% increase in matches compared to last year, so clearly, there's some growth happening. 
And the timing is interesting because just last year, Match Group, the company behind Tinder, Hinge, and OkCupid, partnered with OpenAI in a $20 million deal to bring more AI into dating apps. Despite that, Match Group stock has been in trouble, down 68% over the last five years. So Meta clearly sees an opening to steal market share while their rivals are struggling financially. Now, Alibaba is back in the headlines again, and this time it's all about visual AI. On September 23rd, the company's Quen team unveiled Quen 3 VL, which they're calling the most advanced vision language line in their entire portfolio. The flagship model here is Quen 3 VL 235BA 22B, and the big news is that it's open source. You actually get two different versions, the Instruct model, which focuses on following user directions and handling perception tasks, and the Thinking model, which is tuned for deeper reasoning. What makes this release stand out is how far it pushes visual AI beyond just recognizing objects in an image. The focus is on reasoning and execution. So instead of simply telling you what's in a picture, it can break down relationships, handle complex visual math, and even interact with digital environments. For example, the models come with native support for 256,000 tokens of context, expandable up to 1 million tokens, which means they can process something as big as an entire textbook or even hours of video while still keeping track of the details. On benchmarks, Alibaba claims the Instruct model can match or even surpass Gemini 2.5 Pro when it comes to visual perception. And the thinking model goes even further, outperforming Gemini on tough math-heavy challenges like math vision. They credit these improvements to three key upgrades. A new interleaved M rope positional scheme that distributes temporal and spatial information more evenly, deep stack technology that injects visual features into multiple LLM layers for sharper alignment, and a new text timestamp method that improves temporal reasoning in videos. The real kicker is what Quen 3 VL can do in practice. It can navigate GUIs, turn rough sketches into working code, ground 2D and 3D objects with precision, and handle OCR across 32 languages, even in tough conditions. By open sourcing it, Alibaba is clearly positioning Quen 3 VL as both a research foundation and a competitive alternative to closed source leaders, while making a strong case for China's role in multimodal AI. Meanwhile, MIT researchers made waves with a breakthrough in AI planning. They've been working on the problem that large language models often generate plans that sound good but fall apart logically. Their new framework called PDDL Instruct tackles that head on. It combines logical chain of thought with an external validator known as VAL, which checks if each step of the plan is actually valid in symbolic planning domains. They tested this on PlanBench, which includes tasks like Blocks World, Mystery Blocks World, and Logistics. On Blocks World, their tuned Llama 3.8b reached 94% valid plans, which is a huge improvement compared to untuned baselines. On Mystery Blocks World, which usually trips up models completely, they reported a 64 times improvement over past performance. Across all domains, they saw up to 66% absolute improvement. The process works in two stages. First, the model learns to reason step by step with explicit state action state traces, essentially spelling out transitions. Then every step gets verified by Val, which gives detailed feedback about what failed like unsatisfied preconditions or wrong effects. That feedback loop is what really drives up accuracy. For now, the framework is limited to classical PDDL domains and requires an external verifier in the loop, but it shows a clear path forward for neurosymbolic approaches where reasoning is tied to formal semantics. And finally, the biggest infrastructure news of the week, OpenAI, Oracle, and SoftBank just announced a huge expansion of Stargate, their mega AI data center project in the United States. They're adding five new sites, which pushes planned capacity to nearly seven gigawatts and over $400 billion of investment for the next three years. The target is 10 gigawatts and 500 billion by the end of 2025, and they're already ahead of schedule. Three of the new sites are being built with Oracle, located in Shalford County, Texas, Doña Ana County, New Mexico, and one still unannounced site in the Midwest. Plus, there's a 600 megawatt expansion near the flagship Abilene, Texas campus, which is already running NVIDIA GB200 racks for training and inference. 
The other two sites are coming through SoftBank, one in Lordstown, Ohio, with a new design expected to go live next year, and another in Millam County, Texas, being fast-tracked with SB Energy. Together, these two can scale to one and a half gigawatts in the next 18 months. In total, the builds are expected to create more than 25,000 on-site jobs and tens of thousands more indirectly. Out of 300 proposals from 30 states, these sites were picked as the first wave. Let me know what you think in the comments, drop a like if you found this useful, and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.